Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. We're talking more about knitting basics today and today we're talking about the knitting skills you need. Which three knitting skills do you need to start knitting? Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. Welcome back. We are talking more knitting basics today. The other day we were talking about the three knitting tools that you needed and today we're talking about the three knitting skills you need if you're an absolute beginner knitter. The first thing you need to do is cast on. And what does that mean? That means putting stitches on your needles. You can call this casting on. And I say don't overcomplicate it. I have four casting on videos on my YouTube channel and that's because I've picked four that I find useful. But there is one of those that I find so useful, I must use it 98% of the time when I'm knitting. Absolutely almost everything that I knit, I will use this casting on method. And I'm gonna show you this favorite casting on method video. So if you want to watch that, wait till the end and then click on the link in the description or click on the link at the end and you will find that first video that you need. So that first video will help you put stitches on the needle and you're ready to start knitting. And that is the second skill that you need. Well, you don't just want to sit there with stitches on your needle. You actually want to make fabric with those stitches and that's what we're going to do next. We are going to knit with the knit stitch. Now, if that's confusing, I'm not surprised. Go and have a look at this video later once you've started knitting. It is all about the terms that we use when we're knitting. Knitting is one of those terms. We use it in so many different ways, um, just because it is part of what we do. So go and have a look at that. The knit stitch is the first stitch that you want to learn. There really are only two stitches and then you mix them up in different ways so that you create different effects throughout your knitting. So the first thing you need is a knit stitch. I will send you to my knit stitch tutorial. This is one of my first YouTube videos. So you'll see how I started out. And I love the fact that the my, knit, my YouTube channel has grown over the last two and a half years. And you're seeing me now, but you can also see me back then too. So the knit stitch is what you need. You will then make fabric with it. And then you go, well, I've got all this fabric, how do I use it? It's still sitting there on my needles. So you need to take those stitches off of the needles. But you don't want it to all unravel. And then we come to the third skill you need, and that is casting off. That is taking the stitches off of the needles without it all unraveling, and so that they're secure, so that they're safe. And I will send you to my casting off method. This is such a simple thing. Once you learn it, you know it. You will use it in so many different ways, not only from casting off, but to make buttonholes as well. Lots of different things you need to do when you're knitting um, that will use casting off method. So that's it. Now you've got your fabric, you're thinking, what do I do with it? Well, there are lots of different things you can do with fabric by only using these three techniques. And I will tell you, um, more about that in a video if you want to go and watch that once you've started knitting you learn all about the different terms we use while you're knitting you can find out all the different ideas that I have for you to use um, if you only want to use the knit stitch and if you are a very beginner knitter I have 10 or 12 different ideas for you to make things with only the knit stitch and with only casting on and casting off doesn't have to be complicated it can be really really simple when you start knitting Let's start like that. Let's get some practice in. Um, and you can practice making this fabric before you go into any other complicated techniques. So yeah, go and watch that. I've got lots of different ideas for you and you can just be inspired. Start making some things for yourself, for um, wearing yourself, for around the home and for your friends as well. Great, I will see you for the next video. We're talking about knitting mindsets that you need. Three mindsets that I suggest you kind of grab hold of and think about um, that you maybe already have in different parts of your life, but you need to kind of delve into knitting with those mindsets too, so that you don't get overwhelmed and it's not confusing for you once you start knitting. Great, I will see you next time. 
do hit the subscribe button and click on the little bell and yes make sure the little bell is filled bell not a clear bell so that you get notified for every video i'm here every tuesday every week with a new video with some more knitting matter i will see you for the next video bye for now happy knitting